have you ever opened your illustrations and looked around and said, this is so not like Photoshop? Well, in this video, I will show you some tips and tricks that will not maybe make you love it, but maybe just consider it and then eventually love it. I warn you, this video is not a basic video, but will show you tips and tricks that will make you see, oh, Photoshop can't do that, and so I want to use Illustrator, so I can do that. I was initially a pro Photoshop user because first time I opened Illustrator I was like, what the hell? This is so not like Photoshop. But with a lot of tutorials and a little determination, Adobe Illustrator eventually became my favorite Adobe program. At college I find many people get frustrated with Illustrator, probably because they went through the exact same mentality I went through. It's not like Photoshop and I don't know it. But in this video tutorial, I will show you five of my favorite tips that will make you consider Illustrator. So here it goes. The first thing I loved about Illustrator, the first tutorial I found that was amazing, was how to make art brushes. So here I'll show you how to make a really cute art brush. Firstly, you go into your Illustrator file and tab in your tools. To get your circle tool, just located here, and you just click Alt to make a circle from the middle. But if you want to make it a perfect circle, press Shift and then let go. It's really handy to have a Wacom tablet as well because it'll let you make the art brush strokes easier to make. Now you get your anchor point tool, which is located within this little tool tip. So you have to press for a while and then just select it. Shortcut to that is the keyboard A. And you drag it out, pressing shift so you constrain it to a straight line and drag. Now you want your convert anchor point tool. Convert anchor point tool is located here. So that's like under all the pen tools and stuff. And you just click once and then click out of that. And then now you colorize it. So you get your swatches panel, which is located under Window, Swatches. And make sure you have your stroke or your fill selected depending on what you want to color. So I want to color my stroke purple. So my stroke is there. And now I just drag on the purple. You can't see it, but when we zoom in, it's purple now. And then maybe I want my fill to be pink. And then now we make sure it's selected and we drag it in. Or we just click it. I like dragging because when I have a lot of closed paths that I want to fill, I just drag on colors. So we can adjust the thickness of the stroke by going to the stroke panel, which is there. And then say you want that to be three pixels. And maybe you want a shine on it, which brings us to tool tip number two, using the pencil tool to make closed paths. So make sure that you have a fill of white, but a stroke of none. So you can toggle between the stroke and the fill by pressing the X, but then you press the, the forward slash key to make it none or just you know, select none here. So with the pencil tool selected, which is over here, you drag around and then just about when you're about to close the path, press out and it will connect it, which is really cool. And then you can reshape paths as well. So what I like to do usually when I'm doing a shine like this, I copy this and then I will reshape by starting on this path and then ending on this path. And then maybe you keep fixing that up. Maybe you want to um, smooth out these anchor points. You can do that by out clicking and that will smooth. See how it changes? Out smooth. Now press um, Command F or Control F on the PC. And do the same thing to get that you know, other shine so it doesn't look so monotonous. So now you have 
shiny blob thingy. So now you want to get your brushes panel, which is located here, somewhere, there. And then what you do is drag and drop that in. Make sure you select our brush. Make sure you select proportional. And you can just toggle these to your liking and just experiment with them. But usually when you press proportional, you're pretty much fine. Click out. And then command click to deselect your artwork and then select this art brush and then select your brush tool and then see when you draw with it you have pretty cool comma shiny things see how it's kinky here sometimes you just have to like alter that path with the smooth tool and you should be fine but if you really want to like edit the actual path of the purple stroke and pink fill, go to Object, Expand Appearance. That makes your um, your graphic into the actual fill and strokes and stuff, not just a spoke like this one. So now you can edit that with your pencil too. Well, I'm running out of time for this tutorial, but um, I will show you more tips as I promised five in more tutorials. So, hope you liked that. See you soon. Bye!